So let's look, let's have a little ABC choice problem here. Okay, list the operations you perform when you complete the problem in the correct order. Okay, so let's look at this problem. And the first thing you're going to to do, guys, I, I often have students say parentheses. Well, parentheses is really not an operation, right? Parentheses is not an operation. You can't parentheses something, okay? But you can solve what's inside the parentheses, and inside the parentheses is a subtraction, okay? So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to work that subtraction problem, okay? And you'll notice here that you have subtract, subtract, subtract on all of these problems as the first step. So we know that D cannot be our correct answer because we're not going to divide first in this case. All right? So now if we actually completed this step of 8 subtract 5, we would get a 3 here. Okay? So then our problem would look like this. 48 divided by 3 minus 2 times 3 minus 9 divided by 3. Okay, so we've done step 1. What would the next step be? And notice this really isn't in parentheses. And, I mean, you see the parentheses there, but it's just a multiplication problem here now. Okay, multiplication. So what would our next step be? If we have parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide from left to right, add, subtract from left to right. Okay, the next step then would be our division of 48 divided by 3 and 48 divided by 3 is 16 minus 2 times 3 minus 9 divided by 3. Okay, So we see that our next step then was division so here we have divide and divide and here we have subtract so we know that C cannot be the correct answer. So we have 16 subtract 2 times 3 minus 9 divided by 3 and if we use our order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract from left to right, we're going to do the 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is 6. So we have 16 minus 6 minus 9 divided by 3. So in that case, we multiply next. So what has to be our next, our correct answer? So we see subtract, divide. Did we subtract or multiply then? You're right. We multiplied. So we're going to mark that one out. So the correct answer has to be this one. Well, let's see if we follow these steps. Divide next would be 9 divided by 3, which is 3. Then we would say, I'm going to have to write it up here, ran out of room, 16 minus 6 minus 3. Well, 16 minus 6 is 10, minus 3 is 7. Okay, so we ended up subtracting and subtracting, so that should be our right answer. Let's check it on the calculator. We have 48 divided by 3 minus 2 times, and I put the parentheses up there, notice that, that's extremely important or you'll get the wrong answer, 8 minus 5 in parentheses, minus 9 divided by 3 and equals, and we got the correct answer of 7, okay? It's very important to use the correct order to solve your problem or you'll get a different answer, and most of the time when you're solving these order of operation problems, um, the textbook authors are going to be kind to you and your answer will be a whole number. Okay, so that kind of is a clue to check yourself if you've got a very strange answer there. Alright, let's practice these order of operation problems and we will work them um, together and we can also work them so that we solve the problems um, one at a time, one step at a time, and then we'll check them on the calculator, okay? So let's look at this first problem. This first problem, problem number one, is 38 times 2 in parentheses. divided by 8 plus 11, and that's also in parentheses, plus 19 minus 4. Okay, so let's solve this problem using the order of operations and also the funnel method where we're working just one step at a time. One of the first things I like to have students do is to, to look at their steps and, and maybe just number them until they get really good at order of operations. And so if we number our steps and we remember parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract from left to right, we see parentheses here. So we're going to multiply first. We see parentheses here. So then we're going to add second. And then we see division. 
So that's our third step. Our fourth step from left to right, we're going to add. And our fifth step then would be subtraction. So then we're just going to complete those steps in the order that we just that we just said. Okay. So we have 38 times 2. Well, when I look at that problem, I think of, of 40 times 2 because that helps me multiply that in my head without my calculator. Of course, you could also write it down and say 38 times 2 if you want to. But if I do 40 times 2, that's 80. But I'm actually two groups of two short, so that's 4 less. So that is 76. 76 divided by 8 plus 11 plus 19 minus 4. So we did step 1. Step 2 is 8 plus 11. So I have 76 divided by 8 plus 11 is 19 plus 19 minus 4. Now, we have 76 divided by 19 plus 19 minus 4. 76 divided by 19 is not a problem that I usually see on a flashcard, so I'm going to have to think about that one a little bit. And I know that 9 times 4 gives me a 6, so let's just kind of work that out. Let's go over here to the side and do 19 times 4 and see what we get. 9 times 4 is 36, carry the 3, 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 76. So I know that 76 divided by 19 is 4. So I have 4 plus 19 minus 4. Okay. All right, 4 plus 19 minus 4. Well, 4 plus 19, if I just add 1 here, that makes 20, and then 3 more is 23 minus 4. Well, we just added 4. Now we're going to subtract that 4. So we're going to be back at 19, and that's our final answer there. Okay, we did one step at a time. Let's check this problem using um, the calculator, which correctly does order of operations. We're going to clear it out. And remember, we're going to put our parentheses in there every time. So we have parentheses, 38 times 2, parentheses, divide by parentheses, 8 plus 11, parentheses, plus 19 minus 4 equals. And we got our answer of 19. So we, we did that problem correctly. Long problem there with six or five steps, okay? Good job. Now let's try another problem. Mr. Lamy gave us a, a harder problem this time to solve. Look at all those parentheses, okay? This is something that, that students will often ask, well, which one do I do first? You do the innermost parentheses. So this one's the outer parentheses. These are the inner parentheses. So let's write this problem down. We have 54 divided by 7 times 4, and that part is parentheses, and then parentheses 1 squared plus 19 minus 10, parentheses, and parentheses, okay? And sometimes you might see those as brackets that look like that, or even prettier, fancier brackets that look like that, but they're just other ways to write parentheses, okay? All right, 54 divided by, in parentheses, 7 times 4 minus, parentheses, 1 squared plus 19 minus 10, parentheses, parentheses. Okay, so we have all that down. And now we're going to look and, and look and see what steps we're going to use to solve these problems. Okay, well, we know that we have to work the innermost parentheses first. And when we look at the innermost parentheses, we see 1 squared plus 19 minus 10. If we remember our little song or we remember... Uh, a PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, because we can't solve 1 squared plus 19 minus 10 until we do the exponents, so we're going to do the 1 squared first. Then add, subtract from left to right, so we're going to do the addition second, and third the subtraction, so we've solved those parentheses once we do those three steps, and now we're going to look outside those parentheses to the next set of parentheses, and there we see multiplication and the subtraction. So when we get this whole answer, we are going to end up with multiplication and subtraction. So multiplication is going to be our fourth step, our fifth step, this parentheses, and we'll have all that solved. Whew, that's a lot, isn't it? And then we're going to go back all the way over here to this step and do our sixth step. Okay? 
There's a whole lot of steps to this problem as well. But when we break it down and do one step at a time, it makes it easier. Like my mom always says, how do you eat an elephant? You eat it one step at a time, one bite at a time, right? You don't eat the whole hamburger at once. You eat it one bite at a time. Of course, I guess if it came from Circle Burger, you might eat it all at once. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and solve this problem. We have 1 squared. Okay, and I know that 1 times 1 or 1 squared is going to be 1. So I know this seems a little bit overkill here, but we're going to write this whole problem out again, but with our answer to step 1. Okay, and when you get really good at that, you won't have to do that anymore. But it just kind of helps you stay um, on the right track and not miss your problem. Okay, so that's why we're doing it today. All right, now the next step we said was to add this answer right here. So 1 plus 19. And when you add 1 plus 19, of course, you get 20. All right, so we've done that step. We've done step 2. Now let's do step 3, which was to subtract 9, or 20 minus 10. So we have 54 divided by 7 times 4 minus 20 minus 10, which is 10. And we can leave that in parentheses. It doesn't matter there. You can leave it out of the parentheses or leave it in. Our next step then we said, step 4 was to multiply 7 times 4. So we have 54 divided by, and 7 times 4, two, you can do two 7s and then two 7s and get 28, minus 10. So we still have to work inside our parentheses. This is step 5 we're working now. And on step 5 here, 28 minus 10, so we have 54 divided by 28 minus 10, then would be 18. Now we have 54 divided by 18. Now, I don't know about you, but that's not something I keep in my head necessarily. But I do know that 3 times 8 would give me 24, so I'm thinking it might be 3. Or I could also think of this as 20, and 3 20s is 60, so I think I'm really pretty close. But we'll go over here to the side and say 18 times 3. Well, 3 times 8 is 24. This is the algorithm, just the normal way to solve that. And 3 times 3, or 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 54. So I know that 54 divided by 18 is 3, and that's my final answer after all those six steps. Well, let's um, go ahead and check this on our calculator and see if we get it right. I'm going to clear that one out, and we're going to enter it in exactly like it was written up here, okay? So we have 54 divided by outer parentheses 7 times 4, subtract, we have our inner parentheses there, 1 caret or to the second power plus 19 minus 10, and we have our parentheses, and then we need to close our outer parentheses equals, and you see that our answer is 3, and that's what we got down here, 3, okay? Of course, much easier to do on the calculator if you if you push the right buttons, all right? Now, when you get really, really, really good at order of operations, and you look at a problem like this one, you don't have to do all those steps, okay? When, I, when my students get really efficient of order of operations, I let them do a lot of the process and not write the steps one at a time all the way down the page. Saves you some paper and some time there. Um, I let them just do the steps themselves just by striking through each step as they work it. So we know we're going to do the parentheses first here. We've practiced. And in this case, we have 12 times 2. And so I'll just have them put a little line there and write 24. And then 12 times 2 is 24. We did that. And now we have 24 times 2. Well, 24 times 2 is 48. So we've done that. And so the whole answer to this set of parentheses is 48. Now we have divided by 14 minus 11. Well, 14 minus 11 is 3. Okay, now we still have to do the right order. So we did this with the parentheses and we did the parentheses. So that leaves us with 48 divided by 3 plus 2 minus 3. 
So we still have to go back and do these parentheses. Uh, we, we did the parentheses, so now we still have to go back and think about our order of operations, which says that we multiply and divide from left to right before we add and subtract from left to right. So now we actually have 48 divided by 3. So I'm going to make a line that goes all the way up through there. 48 divided by 3 is 16. So then we add or subtract from left to right, and 16 plus 2 is 18, and 18 minus 3 is 15. So that's my final answer. Now, this, this comes, and it comes quite easily to you after you've practiced your order of operations problems for a while. But, of course, it's always nice to go back and check your work. Okay, we want to be we want to be correct, don't we? So we have parentheses, 12 times 2 times 2, close those parentheses, divided by parentheses 14 minus 11 parentheses plus 2 minus 3 and equals 15, and that's the same answer. Okay, so we, this is just another more advanced way. And, of course, some students say, well, I can do the whole thing in my head. Well, that's great, but show me a little bit of your work so I can see um, where you made your mistake. Maybe maybe you got to this point and said 16 minus 3 and then added your 2. Okay, so, so you, you've got to be careful still, even if you're doing that this way, so that, so that you use the correct order of operations. Okay, so those are some example problems of order of operations. And sometimes when you do an order of operations problems, you'll have an expression, and it asks you to substitute numbers in. So um, substitute numbers for variables in numeric expressions and simplify. Now, in the place of variables, put a parenthesis and place the variable inside. And you'll see the steps here. And it'll have this expression. This variable expression here, 3a minus 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed, divided by b. Well, it gave us the value for a, and the value for a is 7, and the value for b is negative 4. Throwing in those um, integers there, all right? So then, wherever there is a an a, we're going to put a 7, and we're going to put that in parentheses. So, 3 times 7 minus 2 to the third power, divided by negative 4. So, order of operations even applies to integers, fractions, decimals, everything you do. You're going to use that order of operations. So then this problem was solved, and let's look at this. If we're going to solve this problem, 3 times 7, I'm going to go ahead and write right on here, and maybe use a different marker so you can see it just a little bit better. 3 times 7 is 21, minus 2 to the third power, well that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, or 2 cubed. And then I have, so I end up with two, 21 minus 8 divided by negative 4. Well we know that a positive number divided by a negative number, positive divided by negative is a negative. So an 8 divided by 4 in whole numbers would be 2. In this case it ends up being negative 2. So we end up with 21 minus a negative 2. Well, when we use our rules for integers, we're going to add the opposite. So 21 plus 2 gives us our 23. Just went ahead and solved that for you so you could see how it ended up being 23. In addition, we can also put that problem in the calculator. So let's do that, okay? So we have 3 times 7 minus 2 cubed divided by, and in this case we're going to put negative 4. Um, I like to put my negative 4 in parentheses just so that I can see that I put that negative 4 there. And this is your negative sign right here, just in case you, I punched that too fast for you to see. And we'll hit enter, and you'll see that our answer is 23. Let's do that one more time because I think I punched those buttons a little too quickly for you. So we have 3 times 7. minus 2 to the third power divided by negative 4. Now I'm going to put negative 4 in parentheses equals 23. Okay? Alright, and there's that answer. Let's look at some other problems where we're going to have to use substitution to solve them.